Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Count. So in today's video, we surprisingly have quite a lot to do, quite a lot to obtain. In the last video, we managed to take down Plantera and as many of you know, if you've watched me before, I will go from Plantera to Gollum instantly without a second thought because I always find Gollum to be a pretty easy boss fight. You've probably all heard me say that a million times by now, but you know how I stand on Gollum. Well, I'm really glad I took a pause. I didn't go for Gollum in the last video. I said, well, I'm going to do some research and I'm really glad I did because it's actually opened up a whole bunch of new weapons, a new set of armor, and I'm really glad I didn't miss any of that content. I'm glad I slowed things down. So in today's video, it's going to be a video where we take a look at a whole bunch of different types of weapons. Maybe weapons we're not necessarily going to use, but if I'm going to play thrower, I want to see everything that's available to me, or at least do my best to do that. So to start off today's episode, I'm going to take a quick trip down to the dungeon. Now there are two items that we can get from the dungeon. Number one is ectoplasm, and we can use ectoplasm to make a new consumable which is a new weapon, right? One that you throw without exhaustion. And we can also get dark matter. Now, dark matter can be used to make a new set of armor, which is kind of surprising to me because we only just got this armor set in the last episode and we're already jumping straight to the next one. And I feel like that's the quickest transition we've had between armor sets. It feels kind of strange to have one do a boss fight, go to the next, but that's the way it's set up. I'm excited to see a new armor set. I quite like this set because it looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this set is the one eye. I'm not really about that Cyclops lifestyle, to be completely honest. However, my pet is. My pet does have one eye, so thematically, I feel like we're doing alright. Now, I'm meant to be refighting the Lich today as well, because there's apparently a weapon that can drop from the Lich, so... The goal is, I feel like, I'm going to do a few minutes of farming in here. Now, I'll probably end up dying, knowing me, right, as I natter away. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing just kills me straight away, which is fine. Okay, this is actually not going to kill me. I'm going to kill it. Nice. Okay, great. So, yeah, I'm going to do a few minutes farming, and then I'll go do the Lich, which I'm pretty excited about, because the last time it was hard, and I feel like with the new armor set, it's going to be an absolute breeze. Now, if I sound a little different today, I'm not ill. I don't have a cold, but I have kind of got a blocked nose, right? And I kind of get this, like, fake cold every now and again. And I feel like I get it when I stay up too late. But I've been staying up late the past couple of days, right? Being, uh, being irresponsible. I was playing Graveyard Keeper on the Nintendo Switch. And then for the past two nights, I've been reading Stephen King's It, which is, like, the longest book in the world. Like, I feel like you could call it the Clown Bible, and people would know what you're talking about. It's really, really long. Like, it's even longer than the... The first Game of Thrones book, which I recently kind of got into. So, yeah, I'm like 20% of the way through, and it's eating up a lot of time. But um, that's why I sound a little bit different. But how do I feel? I actually feel really great. <laughs> I don't feel bad for uh, for staying up late. It just It is what it is, right? When I was younger, I could stay up late. No problem. I used to do it all the time. Like, when I was a teenager, half four is when you were off the bed. School in the morning kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, now I'm 22. My body's just like, nah, fam. Nah, fam, you old. You old, you don't like this lifestyle no more. I'm like, please. I'm still a gamer at heart. I still like late nights. Okay, let me grab some dark matter. Let me grab some exoplasm. This is going to be like a, a farming part, I guess, for a little while. So I'll probably be here quite a while. Okay, so thank you to the people that pointed this out because I never would have looked in here. So apparently, Thorium has its own version of like biome chests in the dungeon. This one is the desert chest and it will actually contain inside of it a throwing thing, which is cool. So I haven't actually looked at this before. So it's called the Thero's Slab. 113 plus 2 throwing damage. Hurls a slab of ancient pyramid stone, releasing a homing worm on impact. And then it causes exhaustion. So let's test this out. I've never seen this before. I didn't do my research on it. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, were they uh, were they hard mode enemies? I'm not too sure. I wasn't really paying attention. I know this one's hard mode. Oh my god, that's amazing. For a free weapon, that's really, really cool. And I'm guessing you open that up after Plantera, like the other biome chests. So, yeah, really cool. I mean, that's made farming a little bit easier. I mean, the weapon we had before was fine. Like, it was all good, but... Oh my god, I feel like this might actually be the best weapon we test today. Which would be kind of crazy, because I'm going to try and test uh, some of the better ones in today's episode. So, I was meant to be doing the Lich for that extra weapon, 
I ended up dying, which is completely fine. Uh, I'm not going to show it though, because like I said, I showed too many lich deaths in the previous, previous episode. But I don't feel like the weapon's going to be that important, knowing that we've got something that's so good. It's still a very hard fight though, like very challenging, even with an armor upgrade in this weapon. But that's all good. So I'm going to go back to the dungeon now, carry on farming. I only have eight dark matter, which is not a lot, and five ectoplasm, which is also not a lot. Okay, so I just got an item that I've never seen before in Thorium, and it sounds pretty interesting, almost like a portal gun. So here it is. Allows you to set a temporary gateway that you can teleport to. Right click to set your gateway, and left click to teleport to your gateway. So for example, I'm guessing it works like this. If I was to change weapon, let me just, one sec, if I was to change weapon, does it stay there? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Like, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I have all of the stuff that I need, so I'm going to teleport back now before it gets out of control. Uh, I picked this up. It's called the Underdog. It's just a fist. There we go. All right, well, we'll put that in the trash. We don't really need that one. Uh, so let's take a look at this new armor set. I don't know if you have to make it at a special area. Looking at this, you might just have to. Where do you have to make it? Let's have a little look. So let's slap... Oh, a soul forge. Okay. So I don't actually know how to get a soul forge. So we're going to have to have a little check. Soul forge. Okay. It's made out of all of the spirits and some hallowed bars. Okay. I can do that. Let's make a soul forge. And is it a replacement for an anvil? I don't actually know. I'm going to assume no and just say you just slap it down right here. Okay. Right, so a new armor set. So it's called Shade Masters. Uh, so I'm just going to make all of it right now. So one, two, and three. So let's have a little look. So currently our defense is 44. Swap this over and it's 56. And here's the set bonus. 50% of your damage you take is staggered over the next 10 seconds. So I don't know what that means. Does it mean if you take 50 damage, you only take... 10 a second. Is that how that works? I'm assuming that's how it works. It's kind of interesting. Is that it? Does it have any other set bonus? I think that's literally it. It looks kind of cool though. I think I prefer this over the last one. This looks like a, a purple variant of gold armor. Just a little bit more badass. I kind of like it. Kind of looks like a Shadow the Hedgehog almost. Maybe. No? <laughs> I guess he was black and red. Not purple and red. But you kind of get the, the theme I'm going for here. Okay, so what we need to find now is the Weapon Master, who I'm pretty sure lives down here. I'm pretty sure it's this dude with a hat. So hello, I would like to buy from you some kunai. So we've used kunai in the series previously, but what this will be is actually a whole new type of customization for your kunai, <laughs> which sounds amazing. Um, so basically, these dark matters and these ectoplasm they, they do transform the kunai into something else. So there are two variants. So shade kunai, that's going to be variant number one. And then I'm actually going to have to go back down there to buy some more kunai. Because I didn't realize it'd be 150 kunai. Um, yeah, but we are going to make the, uh, the ectoplasm version. These are called soul slashes. Upon hitting an enemy, the knife will increase in speed, damage, and ignore tiles. Which I thought sounded amazing. Causes, uh, damage causes enemies to briefly wither away. So these are the two variants. One and two. I sound like an optician. One and two. That's when they're like changing the glasses. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to be doing now is the solar eclipse. This is something I don't usually show in a let's play because it's actually one of my least favorite things in Terraria. And I feel like I get that approach from needing to farm Mothron back in the day and really not enjoying fighting Mothron. I find Mothron to be a little bit of a challenge. She's a bit of a bullet sponge. I kind of hate her. I'll just be real with you. I actually do hate her. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing now. So there's been a lot of jump cuts this episode. There might be a few more. I'm trying to cram in as like much grinding as possible into like a, a shorter episode. Because uh, I don't want to bore all of you. Because this is going to be like so much grinding. So, buff up. Oh, I also got these. I got these while I was in the dungeon. They're proximity mines. I'm guessing they blow up. They probably don't blow up from me, though. Okay, let's begin. Please, 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 please don't be too difficult. Because I can't be I can't be bothered with solar eclipse. You best be good. 
Okay, I'm patiently waiting. Maybe I need to get away from my NPCs. But well, you can see them blowing up slightly. Okay, I'm guessing they're all going to start coming in now. Because I can hear them. There we go. Okay, proximity mines, do your thing. Okay, so proximity mines get a, a solid pass. I probably won't be using them, though. They seem a little bit inconvenient to be like, okay, I'm going to place down a weapon. And then that weapon's going to go off in, like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Yeah, this seems a bit of an effort. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to be farming out. So what we're farming for, I didn't say. Uh, but we're going to be farming Mothron for some Heroes Tilts. Which are basically the broken hero swords that you get from Mothron anyway. So we're going to be going for those, which is going to be pretty interesting. And then we're going to be combining those to make something even better, which is kind of cool. Okay, so checking in. I just want to give like a little bit more elaboration on why I don't like this event as much. Uh, so right now, we're like, I don't know, we're like six, seven minutes into farming away at the event. And I still haven't had a single Mothron. And if you're farming this event just for the Mothrons, like, that's kind of annoying. Like, they should be... The problem is, right, is they're very strong. So you don't want them spawning all of the time. But if they're spawning one at a time, maybe that's fine. I'm not too sure. But I feel like it should have a limit on it. So it'd be like, all right, if you defeat 40 enemies, we'll give you a Mothron guaranteed. Because, like, for people like me that just want to farm the Mothron, it's not so great. But I will give some like um, some positive stuff about the event. You do get a lot of good items in this event. Like, for example, Neptune Shell. You get the Demon Scythe, which is pretty great. Uh, you get Mothron Wings, if you manage to kill a Mothron, of course. Uh, you get the Toxic Flask. You get the... Uh, do you get the Stake Launcher during this one, or is that during Pumpkin Moon? Either way, you do actually get some pretty decent stuff. So there is a throwing weapon that I got. It's called the Zelia Swamp Rot. I haven't tested it out yet. I'm guessing it's a Spear. Okay, it's a spear, and I'm guessing it causes exhaustion. Yeah, it does, because there's a little exhaustion meter below me. So this is kind of cool. So what's the damage on this? 117 plus 2 can impale up to 5 different targets or the same target 5 times, causing stacking damage. Ooh. So you could hit Mothron 5 times and then swap to something else. That's kind of cool. I mean, I like that. That's good for a, a free weapon. It's one I didn't actually know about. Like, I didn't go into this event like, oh, I'm going to get me a Swamp Rot. Alright, well, it's still been a good few more minutes. I still haven't got a Mothron yet. So, Terraria, Aaron, Jesus, I'm praying. Please. Oh, you also get the Butcher's Chainsaw, which is pretty decent as well. So, yeah, it's, it's an alright event. Just, you know, just sort out the Mothron thing. Ooh, Mothron. Hell yeah. Okay, let's test the, uh, the five spear thing. So, I'm just going to throw them at her. And then we're going to swap to these Wormy Boys. So, the thing is, I need... Uh, I don't know if it's a guaranteed drop, this Death Hill, but I do need two of them. This death hill, the, the hero's hill. Uh, I need two of them, so I'm definitely going to have to kill two Mothrons. But I'm really glad that I'm actually able to defeat it, because I will be honest, if I had uh, done this event and uh, and hadn't have been able to defeat it, I would be absolutely gutted right now. Okay, so what did I get? I got a hero's sword, a hero scythe, which I didn't know was a thing, and a hero bow. So, three of these things I don't need, but I'm assuming that they're probably variants for different classes in Forium. So, I'm not actually that angry about that, because it's cool to know that they give you, like, different options every time you kill it anyway. So, it's not like, alright, you get one of these five random drops. So, I'll, I'll give it to Forium there. That was good for that. But, um, there's not many hours left in the day. And I don't have what I need to get. But it's so essential, because it's going to make something really awesome. Okay, Mothron number two. That makes me happy, knowing that we've got a second one. Okay, right. Let's see how we do against this one. This one should be fine. I have almost run out of uh, consumables, though, which is like, you know, I should have really prepared for that, but that's fine. So I just want the tilt this time. Please, give me the tilt. It's so dark, and we've run out of uh, buffs as well. I've got some buffs. I'll take those. Thank you. I think that's like Wrath, maybe? Wrath and something else? I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's the only problem when you've run out of things. I literally can't see this boss. <laughs> I'm like, please. My health is so low, and I don't even have any uh, Thorium food either. Oh, God, and I've run out of exhaustion. Oh, God, this is going to take a little while. If Mothron doesn't kill me, I'll be so pleased. <laughs> if Mothron does kill me, then that's it. <laughs> I'll be mad. Okay, so that is Mothron defeated. Let's have a little look at what we got so we can evaluate it. Oh, we just got the bow that time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm taking it back, Thorium. Ero was giving you praise for giving us all options. 
Nah, I'm, I'm not actually mad. It's just it's just a lot of farming. Which, once again, it leads into the, the reason why I don't like this event. If I ever made a, a five reasons, five things I don't like in Terraria, because of course I play it a lot, so there's definitely going to be things I don't like. That would that would be uh that'd be in there. Oh, okay. So I got a hero's hilt. So that's one of them. I need two for a mega weapon. But what I found to be helping now, this is the second solar eclipse. I had to open up the temple and uh, and go get some stuff from there. I didn't go fight Golem though, of course. But I, I did manage to cut a lot of the wires. But yeah, I'm just going to need another one. But what I've been finding helping is actually waiting up here on a platform. That's been doing a lot of good. I feel like maybe it increases the rate because there's a lot of enemies below you and it's a flying one. I'm not too sure, but I've had two back to back. So yeah, going good. So half an hour of farming later, it was well worth it. We're about to craft a mega weapon. So I'm just raiding through trying to find an older weapon that we made. Now I like this because it's kind of a variant of like something I was talking about at the start of the series about people that make terror blades and the knight's edge and such. So here's what we're making. We're going to make a true con -n 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 -n. So this is out of the hallowed weapon that we got. So this now becomes this, which is amazing. So instead of three daggers, it's now like many, many more. And then we're going to make a true embowelment, which now looks like this, which is amazing. And then you slap these two together and you get a terror knife, which is, which is so cool. Left click to quickly throw terror daggers. Right click to throw an impaling terror knife, which constantly damages your targeted foe. Okay, okay, a terror knife. Let's have a little look. So you got this attack and this attack. Amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, so I'm going to buy from this dude a temple teleportation potion. I'm going to swap over to Mothron Wings. I am going to grab some lizard power cells. And then I feel like down here, I have a little dude that I can buy stuff from. Hello, Monty. I will buy from you a tank combination and a battle combination. I'm going to buff up. So we are ready. And then I want to try Golem. I want to give it a go. Okay, so let's see how we do. So you got this attack, which sticks inside of the boss. And then you've got this attack right here. Okay, let's kill the little minion. So it's pretty good, I would say. Pretty, pretty good. I don't know. So far, it's been pretty all right. <laughs> let's see as it transitions into uh, to something harder, though. If it becomes any better. Okay. Yep, keep firing down. Keep firing down. Nice. So that's one hand destroyed. So I would very much like to destroy the other hand before we die. Okay, that's going great. Okay, so I'm running out of uh, running out of stuff there. So usually I would like to uh, to make an arena for this fight, but I was feeling pretty confident in myself after um, after farming for so long. I was like, you know what, James needs a little bit of ease. <laughs> Nothing has been easy with this so far. <laughs> okay, I want to uh, I want to use this to basically get to the final phase. So here we go. We're going to use the ones that stick inside. And then we'll use a bit of this. Yeah, this is going amazingly. <laughs> like, there's no stopping us now. It's a combination of the two. And there we go! We have defeated Golem. Open it up. We've got some uh, beetle husks and such. I could probably do it again. Should I do it again? I'll give it a go. See if I get anything cool, maybe. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick. Okay, here we go. Defeating Golem once again. Let's see how we do. Let's see what we get. Bam. Okay, so... Oh, I, do you know what? I thought this would be thrower. To be completely honest, I thought that's what I was going to get. Well, there we go. Guys, that has been a pretty long episode for me to record. And one I've really enjoyed. Can I just say, I've never given appreciation to this. But Mothron wings look amazing. Look at these bad boys. Oh, I love them. I love them. Okay, so... It's been a little while since we trolled the comments. And I've been thinking about this. My favorite one was Craft the Meowmia. I absolutely loved it. It was pretty golden. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe this time we can have a crafting one. But it should be completely irrelevant. Like, it should be like, James, have you crafted 
the wooden yo-yo yet. That's what it's going to be. James, have you crafted the wooden yo-yo yet? I want to see that in the next comments, right? People are going to get to the video and be like, Oh, I'm ready for another episode of Froium. What's this about a wooden yo-yo? I'm intrigued. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.